Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to explain how you can use the newly rebranded Parity Designer app, which is now called Polkadot Vault. In this tutorial, we will uh, use the Vault app to generate an account. We will add the account on the Polkadot browser extension. And once added here, we will be able to see it on the Polkadot.js uh, user interface, this one here. And uh, specifically here, we are on West End, which is Polkadot testnet and uh, we already have an account, Alice. We will try to send some funds from Alice to the new account and back. So let's go to the Vault app. In here, we are on uh, a smartphone. This is an iPhone. And we install the app for the first time. We'll go through these initial steps that are presented here. It is important that you turn your smartphone into a hardware wallet. This means that any connection to the outside world must be uh, broken. We need to enable the uh, flight mode, disable Bluetooth, disable Wi-Fi, and also unplug all the cables that uh, are currently connected. So we can uh, swipe and uh, continue this introduction. Here is basically saying us that we can generate and store multiple private keys. It is important to understand that the Polkadot Vault app is not a wallet, it is an account management tool that can be used to store accounts and uh, use the keys, the private keys of those accounts to sign for transactions. As I said, we can sign transactions while keeping your private keys offline as the keys will stay on the phone, on the air-gapped phone, as long as the phone uh, stays air-gapped. So as soon as you connect to the internet, there is uh, the risk that uh, those information can be accessed. We continue and uh, we can see, we can also add new networks. So we can add chain specifications and uh, also do metadata updates without breaking the air gap, which means that we can use a system of QR codes to uh, add networks and also do the metadata updates for those networks. We can click on continue here we have the privacy policy and the terms of service. When we are happy with those, we can uh, check the box and uh, accept. Once again, we need to set up the air gap mode. So enable your airplane mode and uh, turn off Wi-Fi connection, disconnect the cables, confirm that all cables are disconnected and tap next. It is important to understand that taking and storing screenshot with private information can lead to losing funds. So it is very important that while you use the app, do not take screenshots, do not take pictures of your phone. So check the box that you are aware of the risk involved in taking screenshots. Before actually using the app, we can set up new networks or set up new networks later on. In this case, we will just set up later the networks. And here we are, we are inside the uh, app, we can see that um, we have a menu on the bottom with keys, scanner, logs, and settings. Keys actually will display all the accounts that uh, you imported or you generated on the Vault app. Scanner will be used to scan QR codes, and uh, the logs is uh, basically a log that uh, will uh, save everything you do with the app. And under settings, we can uh, add the new networks, or wipe all data, for example. We will now see in detail each one of these menu. Go under setting, networks, and we can see that the Polkadot Vault app by default has chain specification for Polkadot, Kusama, and West End. It doesn't have metadata updates. So if we tap on uh, West End, for example, we can see that we don't have metadata. So we have the information and the specification of the chain, but uh, we don't have the latest version um, of the metadata for that specific chain, which means that we cannot use at the moment this, um, the Vault app to sign for transaction on any of those uh, chains that are stored here. We need to do the metadata update. So in order to add the network metadata, we can go back, we can do it directly here, but we can also go back to the menu and we go under scanner then uh, it will ask that the Vault app want to access our camera. We do accept. And at this stage, we are um, able to add the chain specification. So we can go to a metadata portal in here. This is the metadata portal 
that uh, is uh, owned by Parity and uh, all this information has been signed by Parity. So we actually have to trust Parity Technologies that the information here is uh, trusted and contains actually what we want to add on the um, Vault app. So we trust Parity Technology, so we uh, go ahead and we add the metadata update for West End. So we click on West End, we can see chain specs, this we already have, um, we, are, we already have those on the, on the Vault app. What we need to do is uh, to do the metadata update and we can see that has been signed by Parity. And here we have the QR code fountain that is used to do the metadata update for West End. So at this stage, we take our phone and uh, we scan this um, QR code fountain and we stay on it with the phone until the bar on the bottom is complete. Right, we can see that uh, we have added the metadata of uh, the version 9401 for West End, and we can approve. If we go back and uh, under settings, in here, networks and West End, we can see now that we have metadata available. We can actually add more networks. And uh, in here, for example, we have uh, Rococo, Testnet. We can add this uh, Testnet on the Vault app how to do that, we can click on Rococo and go to Chain Specs. We go to the scanner and uh, we scan the QR code. It will ask us to add this network. It uh, recognizes that is Rococo and we approve. We go back and we can see now Rococo is in the list of our network. We go back to the scanner and we need to do the metadata update for Rococo as well. We go under metadata and uh, we will scan the QR code fountain. Okay, we added the metadata for Rococo for the version 9390 and we approve. If we go back, we can see that uh, under the Rococo testnet, we have metadata available as well. We will need to do the same things for Polkadot and Kusama if we are planning to uh, use accounts on uh, Polkadot and Kusama. In here, we can see that there is still uh, metadata that are missing. We will not do this in this tutorial because we are using West End. So we go back and what we can actually do under the setting tab is also to, um, to highlight the certificate, the verifier certificate. We can also back up the secret phrase, but now we don't have any keys that we created or imported in the Vault app. And uh, we can also read the privacy policy, the terms of service, or wipe all data. And we can also see the app version on the very bottom. We can uh, go under logs. We can see what we have done until now. Under scanner, we can scan the QR codes to sign for transaction, do metadata updates, add chain specification, and uh, under keys, we can add a new key. In here, if we tap on add key set, we can uh, decide to add a new key set or recover a key set. If we decide to recover a key set, we will need to uh, add an account name, then uh, tap on next, and we will need to put the mnemonic seed phrase of the account that we want to recover. In this case, we don't want to recover any account, so we go back, but uh, we will try to add a new key set. We uh, choose a name, then we tap next, and the app will display to us a 24 word mnemonic seed phrase that we will need to write down on a piece of paper and uh, keep it secure and uh, accessible to us in case we need to uh, recover this account. It is important not to take the screenshot of this information, not to take picture, not to save this information anywhere on a device that is connected to the internet. And I would also say not to spell out uh, this uh, information while you are writing down on the piece of paper in case any of your device around you have a microphone activated. Write down the seed phrase in a secure place 
with uh, just this phone and uh, no other electronic devices around you. When you written down the seed phrase, check the box that you written down, the recovery phrase and create key set. We can see now we have four keys, one for each of the network that we have added to the Vault app. These derived keys are basically the public addresses of uh, our account on uh, these networks. These public addresses are all derived from the same root, from the same parent. So what we can do on this uh, tab, we can tap on the plus and uh, we can derive one of those keys. And uh, if you are not familiar with uh, account derivation, go on the Polkadot wiki, there is a whole article about uh, derivation paths. In this case, we will not go in detail on account derivation. The other thing we can do is also export keys, backup key set or delete the key set. We can select which key we want to export and then we can, uh, we can for example, if we select uh, Polkadot, we select export, we can export this key via QR code. We can go back. Another thing we can do is backup key set. In this case, we need to insert the pin code of the phone. It will uh, display to us the secret recovery phrase for 60 seconds. And uh, we can uh, actually write down the phrase and, um, and this will basically export all this uh, wallet. And uh, we can also decide to delete the account. If we tap on each one of these uh, derived keys, for example, West End, we can uh, export this uh, key to the browser extension. So we can go on the polka.js user interface and um, we go on the browser extension. We click on the plus. We select attach external QR signer account. This will activate the camera on your laptop. We can present the QR code to the camera. Then uh, we need to uh, select a name of, uh, for this uh, account. We can click add the account. And now the account is added in here. We can see the QR code icon here, which means that this is an account that has been uh, imported into the extension from the Vault app. We can refresh the UI and uh, we are able to see now the Vault account in here. If we are on this uh, tab on the phone, we can also choose to share private key. If we decide to share the private key and we tap on it, we will need to enter the pin code of our phone. And uh, before sharing the private key, it will uh, tell us that uh, this key will be marked as, as hot if uh, it is exported. So if we tap on export private key for uh, 60 seconds, we'll display a QR code that is actually encoding the private key. So if uh, we go back under the keys that we have, now all these keys here will be marked as hot because they are all derived from the same root, from the same parent. So if we tap on uh, Rococo, we will see this key is marked as hot, but also if we type on uh, West End, this key is marked as hot. So if something like this uh, happens, it means that uh, either the key, the private key has been exported or there was an attempt of uh, exporting the private key. So now that we added the Vault account, we can send some funds to this account. So we click on send. We want to send five Western tokens. We can click make transfer, sign and submit. We will use Alice account to sign for this transaction. All right, we have sent five Western tokens from Alice to the Vault account. Now we can send this Western token back to Alice. And uh, we do not uh, do a keep alive check. We are actually transferring the full amount and rip the sender, make transfer, sign and submit. We can see that now we don't need to put a password to sign for this transaction. We will need to scan this QR code with our Vault app. So we go back to our app and uh, we go under scanner. 
we scan the QR code, we enter the password of uh, our phone, and we can see that uh, the Vault app will display as the signature. So when we have this uh, signature, we can also decide to add a log note from here. And uh, if we are happy with it, uh, we can actually also see the transaction details in here. Now we can go back and we will show this signature to our laptop. So we go back and uh, we click on scan signature via camera. We will display the signature to our camera and that's it. And uh, as a security note, if uh, by chance the phone gets connected to the internet, for example, now we'll try to connect it, we can see that uh, there is a red sign with uh, a shield and an excl exclamation mark. If we tap on it, we can see that the network is connected. So we can acknowledge this. If we go again offline and we go back, and we tap again on the sign, we have the option to um, go back or acknowledge and proceed. In this, um, in this scenario, we'll just acknowledge and proceed. And if you go to the log, we can see everything that happened, right? So we can see the device was connected and then we acknowledge the warning. So this is a very um, cool feature that uh, will let you know if there was an attempt of connecting the phone or just uh, you wanted to connect the phone very briefly to do a short update or anything that is uh, needed to, um, to have internet connection and then you just uh, go offline again and you acknowledge this, uh, this action. Keep in mind that uh, any attempt of uh, connecting to the internet, even if it's a brief attempt, it potentially creates the risk that the data can be leaked or accessed remotely. This is everything about uh, Polkadot Vault. Thank you for watching.